Hello guys, um, my name is Novi. So in this section, I want to explain about direct object and indirect object. Um, first, we have the direct object. <coughs> direct object is the receiver of the action mentioned in the sentence. Like for example, we have John hit the ball so the direct object in this sentence is the ball direct object and John is subject he is verb so in a direct object we should be careful to distinguish between a direct object and an object complement I'll give you an example here. Um, they name the boy Christopher. In this sentence, the boy is direct object. And Christopher is the object complement. Okay, next is in direct object. So the indirect object identifies the person or thing for whom or what the action of the verb is performed. The indirect object is usually a person or thing. And here is the example. My mother bought me a necklace. In this sentence, uh, indirect object is me. And the direct object is necklace. Direct object. Because a direct object is identifies the person, so me is indirect object. Next, we have uh, other example, another example, like John told Peter a story. Peter is in direct object, and then the direct object is story. As what I said before, indirect object is identifies people or things. So Peter is uh, indirect objects. I think that's all for this section. Thank you. <coughs>